everyone so today in numerical methods lecture number 31 we will see one or two examples from the sterling's and basil's formula so that you will get it clear from your head so this is the question given to us that we have to estimate the value when x is equal to 7 from the following data these these are the data points which are given so the first thing is we have to construct the central difference table so let us construct that Hmm. Okay. This is 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. 5, 49, 181, 449, 901. <coughs> so the first order will be 49 minus 5. Okay, as I told you in the last lecture, that was something I missed in that lecture. Sorry for that. In uh, Whenever we construct the central difference table, we don't create the difference from this point to this point. We create a difference from upwards. So, delta y one will be equal to five minus forty nine. <coughs> Similarly, delta y two will be forty nine minus one eighty one. Please correct that um, and pardon me for that. Delta y three will be equal to uh, delta y three will be equal to one hundred eighty one minus 449 and in delta y4 will be 449 minus 901 <coughs> delta square yi then this is equal to let me write the values this is minus 44 this is minus 132 this is minus 268 and this is minus 452. <coughs> so over here there will be a difference between a minus 44 minus minus 132. So the result will be 88. Similarly minus uh, 132 minus uh, minus 268. The result will be um, uh, 136 and over here minus 286 minus 422 the result will be 184 so then delta q y i will be <coughs> 88 minus 136 it will be minus 48 and then again 136 minus 184 the result will be minus 48 after that we don't need to go because uh, here we have the constant value so we can stop over here we don't need to go to delta 4 nahi, although we know that will be equal to 0 but if we mention karbi there is no harm in that so that means after this step delta 4 yi will be equal to 0 because minus 48 minus minus 48 that will be minus 48 plus 48 cancel out okay oh, 0 okay <coughs> now applying Stirling's formula. So you know that u is equal to x minus x0 divided by h because we have forward difference table ki ka istamal karte hain. So obviously we know that u is ke barabar hota hai so our u is equal to 0 0.5 so y of x will be equal to y0 plus delta y0 plus delta y minus 1 divided by 2 plus delta square y minus 1 divided by 2 factorial into u square plus this is a sterling's formula delta cube y minus 1 plus delta cube y minus 2 divided by 2 
u into u square 1 square divided by 3 factorial हमें अब तो the fourth term जाना है अगर हम fourth term तक जाएंगे भी नहीं we know the fourth term is equal to a zero right so leave that we have to find the value at y at seven so this will be eighty one plus minus two sixty eight from the table one thirty two divided by two into zero point five <coughs> simply substitute the values uh, we just calculated from the uh, central difference table minus 48 divided by 2 0 0.5 into 0 0.5 the whole square minus 1 ka square divided by 3 factorial plus 0 the fourth term so after simplifying all this you are going to get 101 so this is how we solve the questions on sterling's formula now the next question which we will do will be on the Basel's formula okay okay uh, I will put it in the second part of the video so that uh, it will be differentiated clearly thank you no uh, let let me do it over here only we get the question if I would be having okay <coughs> Basel's formula example say we have a data set like this 2.0 2.25 2.50 and y of x is like 9.0 10.06 10.06 and 14.0 <clears throat> so okay whenever we construct the central difference table in the basils and in the sterling's formula we do it in the reverse order in sterling's formula we have to subtract as i showed you just now and in basils formula exactly the way i showed you in the um uh, in the lecture so there is nothing wrong in it i was just I just got confused. <laughs> Sorry for that. Okay. So, interpolate the value of x at y of x is equal to 10.06. Please try this question at home. So, this, this will be your homework. If you can't do it, let me know. I will show you in this in the second lecture. I don't know what happened to my nose. I'm not able to breathe. Anyway, thank you so much and have a nice day. And with this, we have completed unit number two. Hopefully, you understood it well. And in the next lecture, we will start unit number third. Thank you.